Hey guys, welcome, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. If you're just clicking this channel for the first time, my name is Hafsa. People know me as Hafimo on Instagram. And in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to get that pink picture for Instagram. I'll be showing you guys how to edit your photos for the gram. Okay. Okay. I have been getting a lot, a lot of messages on Instagram on how to edit my pictures. Recently, I've been getting a whole lot that I used to, but I, I feel like that's like the number one question people ask me. How do you edit your photos for Instagram? Your photos are so crisp. Like, how do you edit your photos for Instagram? So I decided to just make a whole video and show you guys how I do it, show you guys what I do, and just give you guys the whole download on how I edit my picture for Instagram. And even if I don't think my picture is as crisp as you will make it seem, I still think I'm struggling a bit. But I'm just going to show you guys what I do, what I have improved. I, I did a video before on this topic, so I'm just going to go back and just show you guys what I have improved. And yeah, let's get into this video. I hope it's not so long, but let's start. Video, I'm just going to place like a side of the screen. Let me move to the side a bit. So I'm going to move to this side because my screen is going to be here. So I'm just going to place my screen here so you can see my phone screen so yeah uh with this for this video i am going to be editing this picture as you can see on um the screen and i'm editing this picture because i it's um the lighting is right everything is right i feel like i like how like it's going to be so easy to edit because for you to first of all to even want to edit your picture to, you should have to be able to get a good picture that is editable usually People can ju you could just go outside and just take pictures in sunlight. But now we have to like be strategic about it. Find your light. Make sure there's not too much sunlight. Make sure everything is like the weather is right and all that. So you can get like a good picture and then the edits will make it better. All right. So from my picture, I usually uh, use two. I can edit in two ways. Um, before I use like 500 apps to edit i edit with snapseed afterlight vsu and facetune but in 2019 beginning of 2019 i found that i found that people said had been using lightroom to edit i didn't i couldn't figure it out because i didn't like how lightroom made my picture look it's just like i know vloggers like having their pictures a certain kind of way but i am not like all for that so I just stayed away from Lightroom. I kept on using like my edits that like I combined like 500 edits to get one picture. But recently I found, I googled, let me tell you how I found it. I googled online. I know that when I get presets, I always, it just doesn't work for my skin tone ever. I'm not even kidding. Like preset never works for me. I, someone actually made a post on presets for dark girls i'm going to put her her um instagram down because i can't remember what her um post is but she, i think she's a nigerian um a brand account blogger so i'm just going to put her page down and then i found the page and she listed a bunch of presets i could use and i decided to try one of the presets and that's the chasing dennis preset she's a, um dennis is an instagram blog is an instagram um blogger she's a blogger <laughs> but she has an instagram she's not an instagram blogger <laughs> but I got a bunch of her presets and I have been I found a way to tweak it to the extent where I no longer have to tweak it I just copy it and paste it on my new photos and if I like it and then I keep it if I do not like how it looks on the new pictures I just tweak it a little bit to fit the picture and the background <laughs> so going to show you how i do that so i'm just going to wrap this video quick because this intro is getting too long and just go into the edit so i'm going to show you how i will edit this picture using my former apps which is the vseo and snapseed and afterlight so i am um, snapseed i think they are all free apps but um i don't know if i can't remember if afterlight is free is a free app i'll i'll, I'll check but vseo is free but you have to get some um edits in inside that yeah and then um after life and all that is free but you still have to if you, you you have to pay for some edits but i'm just going to show you guys how so 
so i'm just going to take this picture this picture is a well lit picture i'm just going to take it and put it on in my snapseed app yeah so i don't have so many things to do in the snapseed app i'm just i just want to see what i can make better in this app so i'm just going to click on my tools click on tune image it doesn't need any more brightness maybe add a little contrast maybe like plus two to just make everything like darker because it's snake print and then hmm ambience i don't think i need ambience no i don't want it to be like saturated oh i don't know hmm. hmm. maybe i'll leave like ambience to like to like 12 yeah um highlight yeah i'm going to increase the highlight a bit and then i'm going to let me see no i'm also going to increase the shadow a bit to like a 30. so then i go to detail of course and increase the structure this just makes everything sharper than it is before you can see just brings everything that's like detail that's the name so just brings everything to just bring the sharpness and everything so i'm just going to put the structure i just like to just put it all the way to 47 i don't even like tweak a bit i just like see what's good like you can just check what's good for you is this too much you reduce it so i'm just going to put it in a 21 because i like i like my pictures to be very sharp and then i'm not going to i don't like the effects like sharpening gives me like a weird grainy effect so i'm just going to leave it as structure and i think that's the only thing i'm going to be doing here so i'm just going to export my picture export it yeah so the next app i will be taking it to is the afterlight app so this i'm just going to open the image and open it on afterlight afterlight has a lot of it's the same thing they all have presets that you can just automatically put on it to just make it like automatic like just automatically edit it by yourself but you don't want to use like the um the preset that comes with the with the phone so on afterlight i go to the same thing it has the same brightness but afterlight has the vibrance tool so i'm just going to add a little vibrance to it and after that when anytime i add vibrance i always try to reduce the saturation just so it's not like too much so i go to saturation and just i reduce the saturation it a bit so i don't get like pale <laughs> so i reduce the saturation to like a minus 10 so let's see the old one and the new one okay another thing i would like to edit on the after on after that you can see you can even try to make some things sharper if i want to make the orange pop more just go to the orange just dry here but no i don't want that but i'm just showing you guys like if you want to make any color pop if you want to reduce any color you can reduce it if you want to like that's how it works but i'm not going to do anything with this i'm just going to leave it here so after i export it to after light i go to uh, um after i do that i like to reduce the, temp the temperature a teeny bit so i'm just going to reduce the temperature sharpen it mm, let's see no i don't like the grainy effect here either um shadow i already did that in the snapseed app i'm just going to now save it and just see how just just save this so now i want to go to face tune before i send it down to vsco to just finalize the edit i know it's so many apps so i just go to face tune for face tune what i like to do in face tune is just i don't like to smooth in my face too much like not to look crazy i like to just keep everything natural and this doesn't even need so much face smoothing so i just tap like take the smoothing um function and just tap all over my face just give like a tiny bit of smoothing and then I go to detail. I like to to add details to things like my sunglasses. Detail just makes everything pop. Just add details so it just pops from the crowd. I like to add a tiny detail to my lip. If I'm wearing a red lip especially. Because sometimes it can go very wrong when you add detail to your lip. I just like to go to the things that will like just add a little details to my bag. If I was wearing earrings, I would do the same. Just add to my shoes. Just make everything pop. All the accessories pop. So then after that, I just save and go to VSCO. So in the VSCO app, 
I already have a bunch of filters you can use. Dressio app already comes with a bunch of filters which a lot of people use. My favorite is my favorite filters are the zero uh, the O4, the C7, the C7, and then the um HB1. So for this picture, I think I'm just going to, sorry, the HB2. So for this picture, I think I'm just going to go with the HB2 because you see even this, I, oh, I really love the C32, but I don't use as much as like, I don't go all the way down to a 12. <laughs> you look crazy. Anyway, for this one, I think I'm going to try to use the HB2. I like the kind of like dark contrasted um, effects it gives on the picture. So this is the HB2 on the on on a 12 so i'm just going to reduce this hb2 all the way down to like a let me mm, to uh to two yes so i like like the dark effects it has on it i'm now also try, going to try to adjust the picture because i feel like is there something else straight about the picture yes so i'm going to straighten the picture now everything in that i can see that it is straight and then i feel like it's a bit too dark add a little exposure to it after yes and then i'm not going to sharpen it so if i feel like it and to just to make the picture look a bit like more have more character i would just i'm going to add a little green to just make it green if you do like this is too much i'm just gonna take it all the way back just make it grainy but not really grainy so yeah so this is all i just import it back to my camera roll and just go ahead and post it on my page so i'm just going to show you the difference between the two pictures so these are the, this is the edited one and this is the um regular one so this like no like i just like the effects it gives this is straighter this one has more like of a character so this is what i would have done in 2018 okay this is 2018 i did too maybe we should leave it in 2018 what i would advise everybody that is a blogger to do if, if you're not a blogger if you don't have any um this thing like any like instagram like if it's not so important to you you don't have to do all they can just do this edits you can just go to vsu and add your app but i feel like every blogger should try to invest in the presets as like find something that works for you or you can even create your preset if you want just create something and see if like if it works fine so what i'm going to show you guys is for the chasing dennis preset i bought her mobile preset so i'm going to go to the lightroom app and show you the ones i got so i got like three presets i got this one is called now trending preset this one is the spring street this one is the bright and airy preset i don't know if it's from chasing dennis i'll check this one is the uh in the in the no cool preset so i already tweaked my preset i already just took it and just tweaked it a bit so i'm just going to try and show you how i'm just going to now show you what i usually do i already have that picture imported on my on my lightroom so this is the picture so this is the picture here because i am or i've already been able to copy and paste and paste from um, the, um from the preset i got and i have been able to tweak it all i just do is just copy so the preset i use for my own page is um the let me show you guys hold on let me just do all over again from the beginning and just try to see which preset works so i'm just going to be taking the in the no worm pres um, in the no cool preset i'm just going to copy the setting go to my picture go to the picture i uh, yes and then i'll take this and just ugh. sorry hold on guys so you just take you copy copy the setting okay then you go to the main picture you select the image you want to edit and then you just paste the setting on it and then it just gives you this so this is how it's going to come out exactly exactly how it's going to come out if you don't tweak anything so what i do is i then i start to tweak the first thing i do for this preset is just go all the way down to detail and just take off the grain totally <laughs> I just removed the grain because the grain just like it's too much for me so i just removed the grain for myself and then what i do is go to light 
then you work on your highlights and your shadows so you can reduce your highlight if you want you can increase your highlight if you want you can put it all the way here you can put it all the way here so i'm just going to like leave the let me yeah i don't mind it all the way here and then your shadows i don't like my shadows so this is how it's going to get dark so i'm going to put my shadows all the way back because i don't want it to be so like i already have so many dark things going on you can increase your whiteness you can reduce your whiteness so for this picture i'm going to be increasing my i'm just going to put my whiteness where it is i'm going to reduce it a bit to 70. yeah 71. so you can reduce increase your blackness or reduce your blackness. i'm just going to put it to like a 70 something yeah so another what i'm also going to do is go to color you can either in, reduce your vibrancy or you can increase your vibrancy i'm just going to put it where it will, i'm putting it like a minus 16. the saturation is fine for me you can also decide to do anything to your colors you can decide to change your colors because that's i'm just going to, that's why i'm just going to leave it the way it was so then after this i do not like how my face is still so dark in the picture i'm just going to go to light and just work on my exposure a bit so yeah i'm going to try to reduce the contrast to get that darkness off and i feel like it's getting too white so i'm just going to go back and reduce whiteness so now i'm just i just want to make the picture straight the way i did in the first paper in the first page so i'm just going to do that select that and make it straight so i usually like so this is the former picture and this is the new one so i love how this looks and i love how like the preset like how it, the color it makes I, I love how it highlights a different kind of color and a different kind of like it's just way different and what you do is if you want to edit your other picture just go here copy copy setting go here just paste it on your next picture if you want it's just going to automatically do it for you and if it's cropping it i just go here put it in my original remove the crop out and just do that so if you want to edit so this is what i use an example let me use this an example because it might not even look the same it might just look horrible just to find a way to work with your edits and once you find the edit you like copy that edit and paste it on all your photos then adjust it a tiny bit to fit that picture and with that you get a very cohesive instagram feed that just gives you like one tone of picture and you can just choose like it's really not like serious you can just also try to choose two two presets that work for two different things if you're a travel blogger and a fashion blogger one for your fashion one for your travel so i feel like bloggers should invest in presets also i'm going to just pull the link of to where i got all my presets in my bio i'm going to put the apps i used i'm going to put it um complete details if you have any questions to ask you can just ask me in the comments and i'll try to reply and i try my best to make this as explanatory as possible but you can also dm me on instagram at happy moon to ask me any more questions you have so um this is mainly for so lightroom is if you're a blogger and that's what you want to do cool you can just do like that with your lightroom if you're not taking instagram seriously you don't have to buy presets you don't have to do anything just edit with vscos just make everything just make everything look better and just make your like instagram like look okay okay i don't want this video to be too long so that is all for this video thank you so much for watching if you have more questions like i stated on how to edit ask me on the questions in my comment let me know and i'll reply you in the comment thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you liked this video and if i was helpful to you thumbs up and yeah just like let me know what you would like to see payuj and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye